that he is alleged um, to commit these acts and that he is innocent of these offenses. But even outside of that, even outside of what he is part of in this cult and his actions, as far as his criminal history and what he does in these videos and what people have come forward, he is a significant risk to the community and therefore bond should not be granted. Thank you, Council. Defense? <clears throat> I just want to clear my throat there, Your Honor. Uh, how do you, how, how do I follow that up? It's a tough act to follow, Your Honor. Um, you like my tie? Um, I uh, just based on what the state just said and looking at the facts, Your Honor, it's just the kind of the facts kind of jump out at you. It's um, not exactly the typical case you hear, Your Honor. As a matter of fact. I'm not even supposed to be representing this uh, this guy here today, Your Honor. Uh, the, the public defender assigned to this case ran off on a Cinco de Mayo uh, vacation, and I'm sort of stuck with her calendar. And uh, and so I'm here, Your Honor. I think I know the defendant very well. Um, you jump out, you look at the facts, but I know him very well. I spent five to ten minutes with him uh, in the back there, and boy, I really got a good sense of who he is, despite the claims, Your Honor. And you should have seen, that he's got this amazing headstand that he did back there, Your Honor. And, uh, but anyway, let me get into the facts of the case, Your Honor, and see if I can help a little bit out. But if you look at the facts, it just jumps out at you, and you, you immediately think, oh God, what is going on here? Um, but I'm gonna ask you to sort of disregard all that you know, don't don't really get too deep into all the facts of the case and all these allegations, Your Honor, because because as you said, there is a the the defendant is protected with a cloak of innocence, Your Honor. That's the law here. The defendant is innocent until proven guilty. A cloak of innocence. You know what cloak is, right? The cloak. It's like a coat. It's like a cover over you that protects you, Your Honor. And I'm asking the court to protect my defendant, to protect my client. Um, I got to know him pretty well. Let's go over his history, Your Honor. The alleged facts in this case, uh, they grab your attention, Judge. Um, you might even call them shocking. But what I am uh, going to ask that the court uh, does here um, is see past those allegations because Mr. Bishop does remain a uh, cloak in the presumption of innocence as the court is aware and instead i ask uh, that the court and of course your honor because he's remained cloak in this cloak of innocence your honor i'm really not going to sit up here and ask him or even if i ask him i'm not going to tell the court whether or not he thinks he's guilty whether or not he's innocent or anything we're not going to get into that your honor what i'd like to do first though is just to really look at the factors involved with allowing someone to have bond, Your Honor. Uh, and again, uh, I need to really reiterate, I think I know this guy just based on this meeting we had in the back. It's like he almost touched my soul. And if you really think about it, Your Honor, part of this case, bottom line is he's an entertainer, Your Honor. I mean, are you going to believe a man who says he's God like the prosecutor just seemed to believe? Just like these followers believed, Your Honor? It's not reasonable for anyone to believe anyone's God. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Let's get into his history, Your Honor. This is an honorable man. His name is Eligio Bishop, known today as the God or three God. But Your Honor, it's important that you know he's also affectionately known as Tehuti Loose Booty on Duty, Your Honor. And, and, and that which leads me right into all of the work he put into this culture and society. Uh, he was in the military. I'm not sure how long, discharged, whatever you want to say, okay? He was there. He was in Job Corps, uh, Your Honor. That means he was right there at the core of trying to get jobs, Your Honor. <laughs> Even back there at Job Corps, he was a pastor, Your Honor, of little individuals who didn't know God, as we see, is a major problem, which is why he's more like a mentor, a counselor, a teacher, Your Honor, but that's beside the point. In Job Corps, he was a pastor teaching the Bible, which was very valuable to the society, Your Honor. Uh, he also, did I mention the barber shop he owned? It was called Bishop Cuts and all that. 
It's still in operation, but you wouldn't believe this responsible man actually sold it, Your Honor. And that's what productive men of society do. They sell things and they get into business and they produce things. You know, there's a famous line. It's not like what your president has done for you. It's what your country has done for you. It's what you've done for your country. And Your Honor, my client, Eligio Nature Boy, Three God, a.k.a. Tahuti Loose Booty on Duty, He's produced for the culture. Uh, I also uh, mention, if I like, if I if I may mention that he's also an entertainer, not just for uh, reality shows like we see throughout this, what you guys are calling a cult, but he's got a long-standing history, Your Honor, of being an artistic dancer, uh, really entertaining all manner of crowds, uh, bachelor parties, everything, what have you, uh, really dancing. And like I said, when I met him in the back, he did this headstand that's totally unbelievable, Your Honor. And it's just, this flexibility is just beyond anything. And that's what we like in this society. But look, Your Honor, he's got connections in the state. He's got his apartments in his name at, at big time apartment complexes, high security. You know those, Your Honor. He's got an apartment out there. He's ready to come home. He's got solid people here. Hey, uh, sir, uh, Mr. Aaron Dixon, are you here on the Zoom? Uh, yes, sir, I'm here. Outstanding. I stand out. I'm here. Okay, and I'm, I'm aware the judge, you might not even care about what that bitch nigga got to say, but I just want you, Your Honor, to know he's got support here. He's got a family here. Uh, he's got people waiting for him to come back. There's all this talk about allegations and charges and warrants, Your Honor, but I would ask you to look beyond that. Uh, give my client an ankle bracelet or something. Give him something, Your Honor. He, he needs to be out there producing and, and dancing. What he's able to do on the pole, it's unbelievable. And matter of fact, Your Honor, you, we, the prosecutor, the state, and some of the cult members may try to paint my client, again, his name... His alias is Tahuti Loose Booty on Duty. They might try to claim he's danger to society, but he's harmless. He's harmless just like a mouse. These allegations are exaggerations, and it's meant to be more uh, something uh, fantastical, like something on Netflix, Your Honor. But my client is different. He's uh, He has a long-standing hair business. He's got a long-standing experience here servicing men in this culture where men need to be serviced the most, Your Honor. He hopped from one eggplant to another. He he was in the back of station wagons, in fact, giving pleasure uh to the man to the men of all ages of this the of this lovely state and throughout the entire South, Your Honor. Uh this is a man who um he doesn't need to be around the victim, Your Honor. He doesn't need to use the computer, Your Honor. He doesn't need to do anything. He's not going to harass anyone. And you know what, Your Honor? Uh, give him, give him, give him an ankle bracelet. Give him fifty thousand dollar bond, Your Honor. Focus on the Yala factors um, and consider granting uh, Mr. Bishop a bond. Uh, Mr. Bishop uh, is originally from New York City, Judge. Uh, he moved to Atlanta about twenty years ago. Um, he's been based in Atlanta uh, ever since then, um, even though he has done some traveling, as the state spoke about, um, Atlanta is where Mr. Bishop hangs his hat. So basically, Your Honor, I'm, like I said, I'm just here. I just met the guy. I'm standing in for someone. Uh, I've got this prosecutor who seems to think that she's got this case wrapped around her finger, Your Honor. I'm, I'm just here with my tie and my, and my glasses. And my name is Billy Bob McGillicuddy. And uh, I just think my client is not really a risk to harm anyone. He's basically based on the Internet. And uh, you can choose to look at his channel or not, Your Honor. I just want to say I, I'm here because I have to be here, Your Honor. And it's just it's important for the culture to know and the society at large that everyone, no matter what it is they're being accused of, uh, deserves to have somebody standing here on this side of the room uh, to basically talk as if we really got anything to say or we're really behind what we're saying. We're just basically mouthing things and hoping that uh, we don't lose any points for actually representing something like this. Your Honor, thank you very much. Um, 
Mr. Bishop just turned 40 in the jail on April 29th. He did spend some time in the Army judge um, before being medically discharged in the 2000s. Um, ah, and speaking of medical discharge, Your Honor, the last point I had to make, of course, the most important point, po the most important part, uh, considering the different reflections we have in this society, considering who we have really rooted next to us, as you know, Your Honor, uh, his entire uh, classroom of kids, students, have disbanded and have pretty much separated and pretty much left left him on with his own to, to his own devices unannounced they just left and stole from this young man your honor and as a matter of fact uh the last thing i'd like for, to, which would really get him free is because my client needs medical attention your honor just like his reflections just like his students he's got a rotting decaying tooth your honor that's really causing him some pain and discomfort, Your Honor. He's really not getting as much help in the back in jail. He's in a long waiting list in jail, Your Honor. Uh, and after all, he does consider himself God, but he's also human, which means, yes, he does need medical attention. He's got a rotting tooth, rotting to the core. Uh, he didn't take care of the tooth, just like he didn't take care of the cult members, his wives, none of his kids, Your Honor. And he didn't take care of his tooth, which is a sort of a a, a, a dental uh, evidence uh, for his negligence, Your Honor. However, that should not be the reason why he stays in jail. If anything, it should be the reason why he is let out on bond. A $50,000 bond, exactly, Your Honor. I think I'm going to take about ten or 10000 or 15000 of it uh, on my own on the side without really uh, letting the court know. Uh, with that said, Your Honor, and it looks like the prosecutor's just already left. She seems to have her case already done somehow. That's disrespectful to me, Your Honor, but uh, I'm here uh, on behalf of uh, my client and, of course, standing in for the actual public defender and uh, who knows much more about the case. I'm just here to, you know, to just, uh, you know, basically, I don't know why I'm here, Your Honor. I don't believe in this guy. You know, he's called white guys his slaves. You know, I'm related to my cousins, the guy who was basically part of his camp for a week. I'm, I don't really believe in this, but I'm just here to do what I got to do, Your Honor. I'm just here uh, doing what I got to do. Uh, you you going to let him out or not? All right. See you. Thank you.